Shalom, Michael here. Uh, the most wonderful gift, uh, by the way, may Yulevave Baruch bless you and may Yeshua fill your hearts and may uh, Pesach uh, Ozen, may your ears be open and uh, Shema Israel, hear all of you. Uh, this is something that is way beyond my imagination for the simple fact that uh, I just simply doing the math. I'm not saying that anything whatsoever, uh, by the way, Yeshua is my uh, testimony and I'm trying to keep his commandments the best I can. Uh, Revelation says that's the gift of prophecy. So, uh, but anyway, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, the Allah, Tav, Dom, Seyab, Hashem, Yeshua, HaMashiach. So within all that, I just ask Shema Israel here because this is very important. I just done the math, that's all. So in Matthew uh, 1, uh, it starts out, the book of the generation of Yeshua, uh, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So, and then if you go on down to, it tells all the, the people involved here. And uh, so verse 117, so all the generation from Abraham uh, to David was 14. And... Uh, from David to the Babylonian uh, was 14. And from the Babylonian to Yeshua, the Mashiach, was 14. So what I did was I took 14 times 3, and that equals 42. And then I took 42, divide 4,000. Uh, and the reason why I uh, started with uh, 4,000 is uh, and not with... Abraham, as the verse said, is because if you remember in Genesis, there was a time when Yudhavave said, my spirit won't always dwell with man. Man's heart has become evil. So he took that away. But Adam was the beginning of so-called our creation. And uh, so Abraham, the angel shows up with Abraham and Sarah. So that's why it begins with Abraham, because through Isaac, Sarah and Abraham and the angels shown up, Yudhi of course, was one of them. Uh, she conceived and born a spiritual son again. The spirit was given back. And then Isaac on the way to Mary, was that was the gift of uh, Yeshua the Messiah. So I hope your eyes are open on this. But anyway, I'm going to the calculator. And uh, in a standard version, hoping, and I'll take uh, 4,000 years uh, oops here divide 42 equals okay this is the number uh, very significant here uh, 95 point two three eight oh nine five two so Maybe a generation, what I'm trying to say is 95 years, point something. So, if Yeshua prophesying, I'm not going to give you the verse, you have to do this yourself. Uh, but Yeshua said, this generation will not pass before you see the coming of the Son of Man. Now, many of the so-called teachers of the world today, sages, whatever you want to call them, uh, at least in the Hebrew mindset, teach you that... He was prophesying about Israel becoming a nation in 1948. So in 1948, if you take that uh, 95 plus to 1948 as a generation, this generation shall not pass before they keep see the coming of the Son of Man. Uh, we'll do 1948 plus... Uh, 95 equals 2043 2043 so if you do a solarium program of the astronomy uh, whatever that word is of the sun moon and stars not your horoscope uh, the solarium program if you advance it to 2038 to 2040 you'll see a bunch of planets gathering in uh, Virgo 
and by 40, there's, it's a cluster of way beyond our imagination. It, if you want my opinion, there is a, a gift of knowledge within that. If this program is right, uh, there is a gift that is way beyond our imagination there. That something uh, magnetically or catastrophically or good or bad is going to start the clock ticking upon our earth and so again 95 plus uh, 1948 is 2043 now so we have that planets gathering as maybe a time of tribulation maybe not uh, in 2040 38 to 40 but they're really there in 40 there's a mass of them so and then if we take that that nine five point nine let's see what is it uh oh goodness sakes uh four thousand divide forty two equals if we take that point twenty three eighty ninety five two and times that uh by what Four thousand. Let me see. Twenty-three eighty ninety-five two. Twenty-three eighty ninety-five two times uh, four thousand equals. That's almost the same thing. So uh, nine point. Five two. What would that be? Not another nine years? How did I get? Okay. Anyway, let's just do the math here. I come up with that number ending up being 22.8. Uh, believe it or not, it was 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet, and the point eight. There's five so feet. So the eight could be three, the three nails, the three bobs, uh, three days, however you want to look at it, mystically. But if you take that 22 plus 2043, you got 2043, 2053, 2063 plus two, 2065. Well, I did the gr grammatical once of uh, the generations of the heaven and earth in Genesis. And I took away one word. Anyway, upon that, I came up with the grammatra of 2060. So I googled 2060, and 2060 says that Isaac Newton prophesied that this would be the end of the world. Now, 2060 cannot be the end of the world with uh, just generation not passing. But it can be a time of tribulation because remember, Yeshua has to come and dwell with us for a thousand years. Then the new heaven and the new earth, according to the gift that he taught us in John the Revelator. So, <clears throat> this wonderful significance is, is that possibly, I'm just saying possibly, that in 2065 is, or 2043, is uh, sometime in there is maybe when the Mashiach's going to come and reign with us a thousand years. Now, does this add up uh, with the 5,780 uh, calendar of, of uh, since the beginning of the creation of the Hebrew mindset? Uh, I haven't thought about that. But do the math and see what happens. Uh, just chew on this for a while and uh, do your Stellarium download or somebody that has it if you don't want to download it on your computer. But you need to know these things. The sun and moon and stars for sign season and point of time. And what I'm trying to say is, is I've been waiting for days trying to get this teaching out. And uh, it's just something to chew on. Just bite on it and chew on it because my main understanding here is that Nobody I know, very few people, 
as I know, was actually building treasure in heaven. And everybody in, that has knowledge knows that, uh, you know, good works, don't build your treasure on heaven and earth, or don't build your treasure on earth, build your treasure in heaven. Uh, don't build it on earth where moth and rust can eat away. Uh, build your treasure in heaven. So good work. Taking care of the poor, the orphans, and the widows, that's part of the good work. And then teaching everybody that we're going back to the Garden of Eden and loving one another. All one blood, one flock, not 40,000 denominations. So it's a significant time to start doing good work. But one thing that has to be the key to this, and with that, that's part one of this teaching right now. The temple has to be built in Jerusalem according to the Revelation uh, before the dwelling of a thousand years. When the temple's built, the anti mashiach that is, has to defile it. So within that, pray that the temple be built. That's the good thing. Do everything you can to make sure that it gets built. It don't say how long it has to be built before the anti mashiach defiles it. Uh, Yeshua, three days, three nights in the grave, three nails, three uh, crosses, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 33 years, 30 years, uh, 40 years, 40 days, uh, 60, 30, 60, 100 fold, 120 maximum. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying 120 maximum. There's also 70 and 80 years for a generation there. But I'm saying 120 maximum, that's it. Because you said my spirit will not live. Uh, with man, and life spent to be First part of Genesis. So, anyway, uh, within all that, may Yeshua, may Yulevave Baruch bless you, and may Yeshua fill your heart. Uh, with all of his knowledge. And may the wonderful Aleph Tav Damsheh redeem you from the ways of this world. And may you concentrate on the biblical text in the Hebrew language until the day is, of his coming because you're going to receive the Hebrew language download whether you like it or not. Uh, at that time, it's just it's, it's Kadosh Hashon, it's the Holy Tongue. So within all that, be blessed and, and may you like I said, may Yod Baruch and Yeshua fill your heart with this wonderful gift of eternity, knowing that you're redeemed from the ways of the world and, and uh, thereof. A thousand year reign with him, every tongue's going to bow, every knee is going to confess. Uh, those in the grave, those out of the grave, everybody's going to get to see him and get a chance. He, his, his, he loves his creation and he's redeemed them from the ways of the world. He's going to save them no matter what. But the treasure in heaven is some reason you don't want to go into eternity with empty pockets. Within all that, Baruch, mm, blessings upon all of you. Shalom, shalom.